and welcome back to another wonderful episode. Anyways, I got some new gear. This is going to be the Live Infinity Hammock. It's a double nest. Comes with uh, tree straps and your carabiners. Yeah, yeah. And Live Infinity uh, Bug Net. Keep those skeeters off you. And a bare butt tarp. Keep that rain off you at night. I am going to eventually upgrade to a bare butt hammock, but for now, I just figured I'd get this set up here. For next year, I'm out on the trail. Maybe a, a fall trip this year. Who knows? Show you guys some information for them. Out of the vehicle, please. Here we go. They back up their products. If anything happens, even if a bear eats it, they'll replace it. Remember, be the bear, not the animal. Got some more goodies coming. Stick around. I also picked up two of these books here. The Peterson Field Guide to Medical Plants and Herbs. Been looking through here. It's pretty interesting stuff. Find some natural remedies, plants that are like morphine, things to help with headaches. Actually, there we go, right there, the poppy plant. Lots of great information, all different types of roots and leaves and plants that uh, can be used in uh, for medicine. Give you guys a little look at the back here. And then, I also got the Peterson's Field Guide to Edible Wild Plants. And this has been pretty helpful, been looking through this. And, uh... It does, there's about 400 poisonous plants in here. A lot of the stuff is black and white, but then there's a section here of the plants in color. There's mushrooms, different leaves, descriptions telling you what you can use it for. There's certain parts of plants you can uh, make candy from, stews, teas, uh, if you have to cook them. Uh, if you have to boil them, daisies, lilies, everything. I love this book. I'm gonna get out in the woods here soon, gather some stuff, and, uh, and have a feast of things that nature provides cattail roots and stuff. Mmm. Yeah, I may. Also, picked up. Oh, I've been putting it off for a while. This tops Bush Brothers of Bushcraft knife here. Uh, check that out. That uh comes with uh it's a three in one. I call it three in one, but they say it's two in one. It's a uh, magnesium and um, a ferro rod. You can get a good fire going. Also, let me get these books out of the way here. Hey, survival whistle. This whistle's pretty good. Good decibels on that. Let me show you the knife here. Nice Kydex sheath. Uh, metal belt clip. It does pivot. Let me see if I can get this out one handed. There we go. Check that out. Made in the USA, yeah, boy. There you go, brothers of bushcraft. I haven't been out in the woods field test this yet. It comes super sharp. See that right there, that nice edge. Spine's pretty thick. It does have this little bit of jipping right here. I'm not a big fan of, but. A lot of people on the reviews didn't like it. I might just probably put that on a grinder and just kind of take that down right there a little bit. 
And then it has the striker right there. Then it has your bow drill pivot there. The one right here. And then you have different grooves here for your thumb. So if you needed to put thumb here and index there, you need to bore out a hole. Thing's pretty sweet. Finally, just broke down and was like, eh, I'm gonna buy this. It does have a coating on this. Um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube just strip their coatings right off. There you go, you see that. But this is carbon steel, so I'd hate to have a almost a two hundred dollar knife for rust out on me. Oh. Things a beast. Also got a couple other things. Stick around. Yeah, there we go, boy. Bottle rockets. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to have some fireworks, some explosions in your bush kits, your bug out kits. You run a little trip line. You have yourself a nice little security system. Yeah, yeah. Also, I figured I'd try this out. This is the Zebra uh, Bush Pot 14 centimeter one. I wanted to get the 12, but the 12 was listed for $80. The 14 on Amazon was only listed for like 23 This is supposed to be a two-person cook pot, but I can do a lot with this. So these plastic tabs here are going to come off. I can uh, get the metal clips for this, so I'm just going to have to inquire about them and order me a set. I don't know why they would put fucking plastic on a pot that's going to go near a fire. Oh, look what we have in here. Some more fireworks. Ooh. These I did not get off of Amazon. These... It was something I got from a, a good buddy of mine. I do not have a tube, but I can make a tube out of PVC pipe. Yeah, boy. Got two of them bad boys right there. And then this here is actually my stove. Um, this is information on it right there. It powers 2,700... Well, so a liter of water takes 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Stove weighs in at 25 grams. It's smaller, more compact than the MSR Pocket Rocket. The, as you can see, i try to get it out of the bag here. There we go. He's just spin up and lock in. A lot different than the uh, pocket rocket. I need to get a can of fuel to try this uh, stove out. Yeah. But I'm trying to do this all one handed here for y'all. There we go. As you can see, that's pretty small. Now that's like the center of the cook pot. It, you know. There you go. You guys can get somewhat of an idea. I'm kind of curious on how well it's going to work with the zebra bush pot. But That'd be good for the trail. It's very light, very compact. I can even probably do a micro kit um, just with a two cup. Get another little cook pot, something small. And this is basically for, for now, doing a little experimentation with things. So that's that. And then this is, of course, the Zebra Bush Pot. This comes out. This is your pan. 
A lot of people are doing mods where they're drilling holes in them to make a steamer, but I'm not going to be doing that. Joe Robinette on YouTube, if you guys all know his videos, he puts a little bit of oil in here, puts his water in here, makes like a double boiler, and then puts this in, and then uh, just puts his eggs, eggs and sometimes some bacon up in there. And puts the lid on, hangs it over his fire, and no time at all, ba bam he's got breakfast and water for a coffee or tea. Yeah, I also got one more thing. Also, Joe Robinette, when he goes uh, bushcraft, and he has one of these uh, bushcraft grills. This is an orange blaze uh, grill. Um did pick this up however off of Amazon um, there you go there's some information on it I was looking at another one it's a little bit it's about probably twice as much as this comes in a wax canvas bag this one comes in a little nylon with a mylar sealable bag uh, I used the nylon bag And there's the grill. Nice little grill. Cook a steak on that. You can put your cook pot on it. Put a little log under each end. And your little fire in the middle. And ba bam Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, boy. I'll be getting out in the woods here a couple of weeks so I'll be able to test this stuff out and then let you guys know what I think and let you know how well this stuff holds up I also got me a new plastic kit for my coffee this is from GSI I have a green one back at my old camp but which I got when I was on the trail at top of Georgia Hostel in Georgia. It was in the hiker box, but I needed a new one. The other one was getting real bad shape. So they're not that expensive. They're like two bucks. So yeah, yeah. I'm kind of a little looky loo at some of the gear. I'm just sitting here. Yeah, go from tent to hammock. Uh, I talked to a lot of people on the trail, and they said hammocks were the better way to go. And during the day, you have somewhat of a chair swing to sit and rest, rest your tired legs. And then if you fall asleep, you fall asleep. Yeah. But yeah. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, see you next time. Remember, if you all dream, dream big, because dreams come true. Later, y'all.